Hey guys, to learn how to duplicate, move, and unite, make sure you're in a new document so that we can practice this. This one I've titled Box Organizer. I'm going to click on Front, then I'm going to click Sketch, then I'm going to click Front again. Now I'm going to click Rectangle. I'm going to make a rectangle, any size, but then I am going to dimension it so that it is three by three. I'm going to click check so that I'm done. I'm now going to extrude it. Um, and I'm going to make it three inches. So it's a cube that is three by three by three. So if you take a look, this is now, th oh, apparently it is not three by three by three. So we're going to extrude and we're going to make it three inches. And then I'm going to click check. So that is done. What I'm going to do next is make a copy of this because I want you to make three that you're going to put next to each other. So I just clicked and dragged so that I can select the entire thing. Next I'm going to click this button with some turny arrows that says transform. I click that and I click transform. I'm going to click copy part and I'm going to click translate by XYZ. Notice over here that Z is up, X is to the right, and Y is to the back. I'm going to move it so that I have three boxes next to each other, all in the X direction. Um, so think left, right, up, down, in, out. So I'm moving in the left, right direction. So I'm going to move it. It's three by three, so I know that I need to move it over enough. So I'm going to move it over four inches. And I'm going to click. And there it's made another one. So I can click check. Can also make one more so again if I just select it like that it doesn't work but if I click once and drag should be able to drag it in a way so that I can select the entire thing so another thing that I can also do since I'm having a hard time selecting is I can actually Go over here and for extrude three, I can click. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go into the front. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to select. And then I'm going to make sure that it got selected. Now again, I'm going to transform. I'm going to copy part. I'll move it now in the opposite direction. So what I can say is I can say minus four. Notice that now it's made another copy in the opposite direction. So now I have three boxes. Next, I'm going to join these together. So to join them, I need to move them a little bit closer. So I'll go back into this view. I'll zoom out a little bit. I'll select this whole cube. And now I need to move it over so that it's much closer to this one. They need to be touching. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again click Transform. This time I am not going to click copy part. I'm just going to say translate by XYZ. I know that this is in the X direction, so remember X was to the right. So I can we can just do a guess and check. We can try one. And one moved it really pretty perfectly. Notice that if I moved it to two, you can see that it's right on top of that. If it moved just 0.5, it's still a little bit too far. So you can guess and check. So one for me was perfect. So I moved it one inch, and then I'm going to click check, and do the same thing with this one. I'm going to select the entire thing first. I'm going to move it by X, Y, Z, and remember now I have to move it in the opposite direction. I've learned that it was one, so I'm just going to move it negative one. Now they're all touching. I'm going to click check. The next thing I just need to unite, so to unite. I'm going to go into the diagonal direction. I'm just going to click this button. It's called Boolean. So I click that. I select one cube. I select the other cube by holding down the shift. And then I click check. Notice that that line in the middle went away. I can do that again. So if I click Boolean and it's already selected the one, I hold down the shift key, select the other. I click check. The line went away. Something that I can show you just so that Right now it's less interesting, but let's say that what I did was I sketched on top of this face. Let's say that I sketched a cube. 
right there. And let's say that you'll be able to see it better if I extrude it a little bit. So we're just going to practice that. So now if I was to use the Boolean, combine this shape with this shape, you can see that it is combining it, but that shape is still staying in place. So eventually this will look much more like a box organizer with your next tutorials.